Association. So, Dave, you just told me this process. So when somebody spots a swarm, what is the process to be able to have somebody come and pick one up? Well, usually they'll Google swarm catching or beekeeping. And uh, depending upon what Google delivers up, if they call the Portland Metro Beekeepers Swarm Line, then it gets routed to whoever is signed up for catching swarms in that area. Whoever picks up the phone first gets it. If somebody doesn't pick up the phone, it goes to the next person. And so we got this swarm, uh, Southeast Portland, between Grant and Lincoln, and we're gonna go see if it's still there when we get there. All right, so once we get there, what's the process? What do we do? You know, we're just gonna look, see where it is. We'll spread out some a tarp or something and get some boxes with some frames in it and knock the bees in there. And knock them in? Or you just kind of, yeah, it just depends on how far up they are. You can sometimes kind of just dislodge them from the limb they're on into the box. If you can't do that, then you dislodge them onto the ground. Once the queen is in the box, then all the others will literally march in over the course of an hour or so. Really? Okay. How many swarms have you collected? None this year, but in the past years, I've probably averaged three a year. Three, okay. Yeah. How many people are responsible for picking up those swarms? Well, in our club, there's probably about 20 people who have signed up to do that. Okay. And so there's kind of a feeding frenzy for guys that are willing to take that call and get out there. And... Yeah, it's free bees. Nice. Oh, really? So you keep these bees? Yeah. You've got hives at home, and yep. these all they become your, your right. colonies. And they're like your livestock. And how many hives do you have at home? I have, right now I have 10. All right. I had 14 in the fall, but I lost four of them actually. I lost three and then I lost a couple of queens this spring. When you say lost, they, they passed away? Either, or they left or they, they just killed them. Don't really know. They just, they'll periodically go queenless. And this one hive that I looked at yesterday, it was queenless and didn't have any brood or eggs or anything. So it wasn't going to survive unless I uh, merged it into another okay. colony. So the bees that you harvest today, you're going to go collect this swarm, you're going to put them in a box and take them home. You start up a new hive or what? The, yeah. What the, okay. Start up a new hive and see, you wait till the queen starts laying. Typically, it's a queen from last year. Usually, it's not this year's queens that swarm, it's last year's queens that leave. And they leave behind a virgin queen or a, a new queen at the old place. And the queen, the old queen, and half of the about half of the bees that are in there go with her and they find a new home. Okay. So swarming is bees' way of propagating. Interesting, okay. And so today when we go pick up this hive, you said we're gonna merge them into a box, you're gonna take them home. Uh, what kind of protection do you have to keep yourself from getting stung? Oh, these bees, uh, I'm, I usually just wear a veil. Um, because bees, when they're swarming, are so non-defensive, they won't sting you unless you really start messing with them or the queen. So I'll just wear a veil with a jacket and gloves and should go, I hope, pretty smoothly. Depends on high, how high up off the ground they are. Okay. All right, well, we'll take a look and see when we get to these bees and make sure that uh, you're safe and hopefully get you at some some additions to your hives at home. We'll see. All right. There they go. Look at that. They just, as soon as they saw it, they're marching in. I love watching that. Are you that getting? process. Yeah, they the, march right the march. in. Yep. Yeah, I had a feeling that when I uh, when my neighbors told me about this, it's like, you know, I'll bet you someone called this in already. Do you guys still have the swarm hotline? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Watching them just cruise in there. Well, 
miss they land on you. What I like to do is, my, my preference is to shake the swarm and have it land hard on top of me. So that they... That's the way I usually do it. Yeah. Dave, traffic cost us that swarm, buddy. It did. All right, Dave. So we got to the swarm. Somebody got there first. And yeah, somebody in the local bee club in the local neighborhood got there first so beekeeping etiquette says it's theirs that's the etiquette all right so yeah. yep he's he got there first he put the box down he started to collect obviously he's done it before he said he's got plenty of hives and lots of lots of swarms that he's grabbing so it's beginning to get swarm season so there's going to be plenty of opportunity how uh how often have you come across a swarm where it's been just snagged and you have uh you have to like this is the first time okay all right so what people might need to know is that uh there's an urgency right to get to the swarm if they don't get there within a certain amount of time even if that guy hadn't gotten there they go elsewhere well it depends sometimes they'll hang out for two days two three days until the scouts come back with a suitable location uh, and as soon as that occurs then they're gone yeah and so when he said it's the beginning of the swarm season, so uh, do you have a particular place that you like to go? You mentioned when we were off camera, I think that sometimes they go back and they find other hives that have been pre-colonized or pre, pre sort of set up. They, they find empty, empty hives, right? So Yeah, um, they really like and are attracted to old brood comb that has had bees hatch out of it. There's an aroma and some um, uh, some essences in there that really uh, attract them to that. So if somebody has got an old, some old equipment in their backyard or something, then they will oftentimes make a new home there. Has it happened with your hives? Yeah, in fact, one of my hives swarmed last, last May and it swarmed into the barn where I had a bunch of old gear. Oh, really? Okay. And so it was an easy catch. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sorry that this one didn't work out for you. Oh, so my. But, but that's all right. What I was going to do with it, by the way, is the um, bee club I belong to is starting a, an educational apiary at a donkey rescue in Oregon City. And so I was going to take it up there and donate it to the club so that we can get our... Uh, educational um, apiary going and have bees for people to learn how to do inspections and how to take care of bees. Interesting. New beekeepers. That uh, that seems more altruistic than what that guy was doing with his bees, but well, yeah, that's life. Who knows? You know, yeah, and like I say, it's early in the swarm season. Um, there's other things that you can do as a beekeeper because, as I mentioned earlier. The swarming behavior is a way for bees to propagate. And so uh, if they swarm like they've done with this hive, then you get lucky and get um, a swarm. Oftentimes your own hives, if you see them preparing to swarm, then you can sort of force a swarm to happen. You can move them and some queen unhatched queen cells into another box and then that queen will emerge and mate and come back and you've got another hive so you can you can kind of fake a swarm by doing stuff like that interesting okay well as you had 
sort of mentioned when I got there to the, the hive and we talked to the gentleman who was collecting, you said that they were really not that defensive, that they're looking for a place to go. And so I got right up there with no hood, no veil, no jacket, and they left me alone. They just wanted to get into that box. and, and Yeah, I just care about the queen and the swarm stays together until the queen is hot and then they all literally march in to the same place. Yes. That was a, a really fun experience. I appreciate you sharing it with me, buddy. Sorry that one didn't work Happy out. Happy to do it. We'll do it again. We will do it again.